I'm Thomas Baldrick for Oncology TV here at the 2015 ASCO conference, joined now by Stephen Chan, the Chinese University of Hong Kong doctor. Thank you, sir, for stopping by. Hello. Nice to meet you. Let's talk about the phase two clinical trial on exitinib and TASE for HCC. Why did you undertake this study? The reason is because the standard treatment for a lot of inoperable XCC is uh, the TACE, which is a transsatiric chemoembolization. We know um, the response is not very bad, but not very good, especially for those two patients with large tumor or multifocal tumors. So we're thinking about we're adding a drug, which is the targeting angiogenesis. Remember, the TAC is also targeting the vessels. We, get, we embolize the vessels, hoping that we create a hypoxia environment so the tumor won't grow. We're thinking about if we add another drug, which also anti-angiogenic in mechanisms, so that we can stop the tumor from growing and there's some synergistic effect. Let's, so, yeah. let's fill people in on the study methods you used. Uh, we are conducting a phase two studies. So it's a single arm study. We recruit those patients uh, with an inoperable large liver XCC and then we treat them with a continuously with a acetonib, five milligram twice daily, and we assess the feasibility of a TAC every two months because a TAC we cannot do it every day. The patient needs to be rest from the chemo and also from the embolization effects. Every two months we assess so that we and then we will continue to give the treatment till progressive disease. And uh, we'll monitor the primary endpoint of this study is the two year survival rate. Um, and also the secondary endpoint include the response rate and also the toxicity. What's most important of the results that you got? Very impressive because we see we do see a high response rate of the tumor. Uh, around 30% uh, have complete response according to the modified resist criteria. And also around 80% of patients have stable disease for a period of time. Another important signal is we observed six patients initially with unresectable tumor. But after this treatment, their tumor shrink and then they're able to undergo the curative surgery, hepatectomy. And after resection of the tumor, all six patients, all six patients of the six patients that went sur undergoing surgery have pathological remission, extensive necrosis of the tumors, and they survive very long. The survival rate of these patients is very long. So this is another key message. The third message is the combination, initially we may be worried about the combination may create more toxicities, uh, but uh, we don't see this problem. The main problem is uh, some hoarseness of voice, some handful skin reaction, fatigue, and, but most of them are self-limiting, and in terms of gray fee, toxicity is very low, talking about 20% only. So most of the patient can tolerate drug very well, without any problem. Now, Dr. Chen, you're optimistic about going forward with this study. Tell me what your plans are. So after presenting this result in the ASCO meeting, we are, we are actually negotiating with the sponsor and the relevant body, talking about the uh, randomized study. So uh, this is a single arm study, we need a control. The control arm will likely be a TACE. So we are, i.e. we're comparing the TACE plus acetonib versus TACE for this group of patients. Hopefully we can uh, uh, more, more proceed to the randomized study in the future. Well, we wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay.